Okay, Andy Sandham here. So, uh, just a quick video on how to make a 360 uh, sky sphere or to stand in the middle of a 360 uh, image in your VR uh, headset. Because there's quite a lot of very complicated tutorials on this online and it's really super simple. So, uh, I've just found this uh, Creative Commons relatively free uh, image on Wikimedia Commons. So, if you just check your Creative Commons license on it to be able to um, uh, give appropriate credit. So uh, and so, what I've done is I'm sh I've done this already in in um, Unreal. So I've just opened a new project, and you can open a first-person project. Um, keep all the uh, oh, just just load it as normal um, for PC. So uh, next thing you want to do is you want to open a new level, um, and then you get a choice of VR Basic. Okay, so the next thing you want to do here is you want to delete out all of this unnecessary nonsense. Uh, and really, and we, you actually probably don't need the light mass either, but I'm just going to leave it in for the sake of completion. Uh, player start. Okay, so all I want to do here is make sure that you just drop a, a basic player cube in as the floor. Uh, so we've got somewhere to stand, you don't fall through the floor when you activate your VR headset, you don't want that. Okay, so another quick way of doing it is we just check whether the, the uh, play start is... Um, so the play start is... Uh, I've just reset using the yellow reset tab in the location transform position on the player start. Again, I don't know why I'm doing that because I can just press that. So that really gets everything centralized for you so you know where everything is. I'm just going to drop that down so that we have uh, a, something to drop onto when we start playing. So the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the, um, the well, actually, let's leave it on at the minute. So, next thing I want to do is <clears throat> I want to drag in, excuse me, I want to drag in a sphere. Let's center that again or zero that out to use professional terminology. Uh, so, let's just make that about that size. That's going to be our sky sphere. It's really simple. Uh, and so, what I've done is I've already made the uh, text. Which, so, all I've done is I've just dragged in my uh, large 360 image, the Creative Commons 3 image. I think. Uh, dragged it in at some ludicrous size uh, and then in my materials uh, let's just have a look so somebody's just started uh, cutting the hedge as I'm talking thanks so all I've done is I've just dragged the text to sample in and what I've done is connected the uh, text to sample to the base color obviously but also I've just connected it to the emissive so that you're not going to get any sh uh, shadows on it because the shadows are obviously already in the photograph so that means it's just illuminate self illuminated effectively and here's the important bit make sure you've got this selected and just uh, make sure it's on two-sided because you're going to be looking at it from the inside uh, so back to the scene let's just save this uh, save current as let's try 3R360 test again or a game um, right so drag that onto there like so uh, and then when we get inside you can see that we've effectively got a it's just mapped it on as a 360 sky sphere so it's taking the it's just taking the image that's come out of your 360 camera uh, which is spherical and then if you put it onto a sphere obviously it unwraps it and you have a lovely image so well the other thing I want to do is obviously in this lovely square in France you don't have a gigantic blue cube so I'm just going to go to my cube here uh, and turn uh, visibility off so the only other thing we need to do is that what will happen now is if you start the level if you run the level now um, it'll f because this cube still has collision on it uh, what it will do is sorry this sphere your actual effectively your 360 doom still has collision on it um, which means it all as soon as you start the game it'll fire your character out of the collision because your your first person controller doesn't want to be sitting in collision it wants to get out of it as fast as possible so it fires you across the map and then you fall forever and it confuses you so let's just double click on this uh, that's the materials let's get all of the sky sphere 
uh, and we just want to go to collision and we want to remove collision so it's actually got no collision on it which sounds good to me okay so let's just uh, is that everything let's just try running that so you go up to play and you go VR preview so here's another thing if the VR preview is grayed out um, simply simply uh, close Unreal and open it again and this should pop up if you've got your VR headset plugged in uh, oddly it seems to Unreal seems to run VR better than Steam VR does which uh, is uh, pretty cool from a development perspective but not from a game playing perspective anyway I'm gonna shut up so I'm gonna run it now and I'm gonna pop over to my headset and uh, you should see the the image moving around as I move my head let's give it a go Yep, so that's all working as it should. I was just looking around the scene, uh, come out of that. Uh, the only other thing that I would point out is that you want to test, your, you want to check your scale, because um, I uh, was just in the headset there, everything was slightly curved, and it looked like I was a giant. So, you know, just this is kind of one of the prime things about developing in VR. You need to keep checking your scales to make sure that they make sense in your brain box. Okay, so that's that. Really simple. Thanks. Bye-bye.